Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk about two things I do to have my nails grow strong, long and healthy without wearing any um, clip-on nails, extensions, acrylics, dipping powder, etc. The number one tip for growing strong nails is coating your nails with Builder Gel prior to your shellac. Now don't confuse Builder Gel with normal base cover, the one that you apply prior to your shellac. Builder Gel is a completely different thing. It's got this rubber-like thick consistency that does dry under the UV lamp just like normal shellac. And it also has evening out properties, so it creates a smooth layer of foundation for your nails. So for those of you, if you have uneven nail structure, you know, uneven ones, then the Builder Gel is for you. Let's just take a moment to appreciate how pretty and long my nails have grown under the layer of uh, white Builder Gel and purple shellac. Here are my nails after the purple shellac has been filed off and I'm only left with a layer of white Builder Gel now underneath. That's off now too and I can appreciate my natural nails and check this length out, guys, how sexy those are, even though I loved my length, I just opted for shorter ones eventually because I'm not used to having long nails like that. <laughs> Base gels have many colours and I will link down below whatever brands I could find that you can easily get hold of in Europe. I am based in London so you can have it on you whenever you go get your nails done because not many nail technicians are aware of Builder Gels, they never heard of those and I don't blame them. I, I, I know that Builder Gels are more popular in countries like uh, Russia and Romania so I just found whatever websites I could find for you guys with uh, decent quality builder gels so I recommend buying it and just having it on you whenever you go get your nails done now tip number two for having strong long nice and healthy nails is nourish your nails think of your nails as your own hair you know what the treatments that you do to your hair you apply some masks to nourish it if it's been like you know damaged under the sunlight or um, it's been just like if your hair, hair like tends to get fizzy or drier than normal hair you same with nails just make sure that you always apply some oils onto your nails you can apply it on the edge of your cuticles um, along the edge like that along the edge um, what I use is um, I use this cool brush by the body shop um, and it's like an almond oil brush let me find it one sec this is what I apply onto my nails um, whenever I get time you know even if you're working like for example sat at your desk you're on a break or something um, just make sure you just you know it's very quick to do um, what I like about this is it's a nail and cuticle manicure oil and um, what it does is it's got this brush so if you like, um, you know, uh, rotate this, the oil comes out, almond oil comes out, and then you just apply it on along the edges of your cuticles, like along the edge, you know, like along, if you run out of your oils or for some reason, just use like a normal uh, hand cream. This is, this is the one from Body Shop um, that I use currently. It says Lull and Plums, it, it's very nice. It smells like so good and um, just any hand cream of your choice really um, when you're applying your hand cream onto your hands make sure you you know scrape a bit of your hand cream and apply it onto your cuticles as well you know like really really um, try to get it in there and that's really it this is really it um, th those are the two things that I do to have my nails grow very strong so those were my two tips for growing strong and long nails. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Share this video with your pals. I'm sure they'll be so grateful because when I found out about this, I wish someone told me about that before. Um, after years of wearing acrylics and having like mangled, absolutely destroyed nails and um, having weak nails even under the shellac, I would find these tips very useful. Um, besides that no one told me about this, I've discovered it myself, you know, being out and about, um, trying out lots of salons and speaking to many, many nail technicians, researching myself. So if you find this video useful, please make sure you share this video. Please make sure you like it. Thank you for watching. I see you in my next video and bye for now.